Hello, this is an introduction to the SDKFZ 222 Armored Recon Car used in Heroes and Generals, a free-to-play online video game. The version portrayed in Heroes and Generals is armed with a 20mm KWK-38. This was produced starting in around 1942 and running in late 43. It has a Horch 3.8 liter V8 gas engine producing only 89 horsepower for a vehicle that weighed 4,000 kilograms or 8,828 pounds. This is why the 222 has problems with inclines. It has a road speed of 80 kilometers per hour or 50 miles per hour. Cross country speed of 40 kilometers per hour or 25 miles per hour. The armor ranges from five millimeters to 14.5 millimeters thick. And this really means that heavier machine guns will penetrate the armor. In particular, I'm thinking about the 50 cal M2 HB that's in the priest pulpit on the M3 half track. My main disappointment about the SD KFC 222 is that it only comes with a, one basic type of round for the 20 millimeter cannon. Historically, there was the PZGR40, which was an armor piercing core rigid round that would penetrate 40 millimeters of armor at 100 meters, and that's at a 30 degree from offset from horizontal, and 20 millimeters of armor at 500 meters. They also have produced the 20 millimeter SPRGR39 high explosive round. Hopefully, and this is kind of a hint, the folks at uh, Retro Moto will get around to offering this ammo upgrade for the 222. Pros The MG34 is very effective versus infantry. The 20mm cannon will wreck jeeps, trucks, and half tracks, and other armored cars, even use it against fighters. Although I suggest you relocate, as fighter pilots seem to take it personally when you shoot them up. It's fairly fast and maneuverable on flat and low inclines. Turret traverse is reasonably fast, and the gunner has a third-person view that, that traverses with the turret. Switching from the driver seat to the gunner seat shuts off the engine. And as we know, silence is golden in recon work. Cons. It has a very high profile. It's not easy to hide. It has a very poor weapon depression. Driver viewports allow for enemy snipers to eliminate the driver. It has a slow cannon reload, takes roughly seven seconds. Here you can see the viewports for the driver, giving you an idea of the limited visibility. And if you were wondering, that's about how it looks through a sniper scope at the driver. And here you have the view of the driver from the interior of the vehicle, front and left-hand side viewports. It's important to note that the driver has a third-person isometric view that doesn't make them any more exposed than they currently are through their viewports. And here we have the actual view through the gunner's seat through the weapon scope. Right now you can tell that it's set for the 20 millimeter cannon because it's highlighted. The gunner seat offers a third person view. As you move this view around, the gun turret traverses with you. So it allows you to identify targets of opportunity. There are those who will disagree with me and they're entitled to their opinion. If you get into my 222, I really hope that you'll take this advice to heart. The cannon is for lightly armed vehicles. It's not for infantry running across fields 200, 300 meters away. It's just not going to be effective at that. However, the cannon can be used to snipe stationary infantry. The machine gun is for infantry. You can use it on infantry that's running, infantry that's riding a bicycle, motorcycle, or even in a Jeep. Here you can actually see the maximum gun depression. And this is the you are dead zone. 
If infantry get up that close and you're in the gunner's seat or even in the driver's seat, they can take you out quite easily. So it's crucial that the gunner be aware of what's going on around them and use that third person view. So here we are tooling across the countryside. I'm driving. I have a recon specialist as a gunner and a recon specialist as a passenger. The gunner correctly uses the cannon against the jeep. Unfortunately, we lose the jeep and I decide to break off because of the threat that I see over here in terms of the infantry moving up on us. There's a Panzerfaust box in that objective. You will notice that my gunner is utilizing the cannon against moving infantry. So there are multiple enemy infantry located in that objective off to our right. You'll notice that when I bring up through the tab button, the display for the number of individuals on both sides, that any kills that have been made so far have not gone to me whatsoever as the driver. The driver doesn't get any kills that the gunner makes or any experience points for them. The gunner is still looking off to the left-hand side, probably through the gunner scope at the infantrymen that you can see the red triangle on or as we call the Red Dorito. First Panzerfaust shot goes high and wide over us. My guess, more than likely, the gunner is looking through the weapon scope and hasn't even noticed that there was a Panzerfaust shot directed at us. Second one misses. Third one misses. The gunner is still using the cannon against infantry. Second recon vehicle pulls in. I decide to move, hoping that he'll focus in on the infantry at the objective. I was shot out of the driver's seat shortly thereafter. Here, I'm solo in my 222. I've sustained significant personal injuries, and my 222 is more than halfway ruined. So at this juncture, I've got no reasonable expectation for a long battle with this vehicle. So I'm basically a mad dog off its leash. You can obviously use this vehicle to ram. It didn't help with the vehicle's health any, but at that juncture, I was kind of beyond the point of caring. There's kind of a freedom that comes with knowing that uh, you're close to death. Yes, go ahead, throw those hand grenades at me. It won't save you. Using the third person turret view so that I can see what's going on around me. They're making a big push for the bridge. Foolishly, he gets in front of me, and I run him over. Up, oh, and another guy. By my count, that was at least seven kills within a fairly short span of time. Hey, what's that? That's a Greyhound. <laughs> Oh, I'll get the guy in the back. But remember, the 222 is an open top vehicle and that point just got brought home to me. There I reload as soon as the action stops. That's seven seconds, roughly seven seconds, is a long time. Switching to the machine gun, got a nice long open field of view there.
Final tally. 29 kills, 4 deaths. That's better than 7 to 1. I can live with that. The gunner's job. A good gunner toggles between the third person view and the weapon scope. The driver can't see everything. When taking an uncontested objective, the gunner leaves the 222, allowing the driver to take the gunner's seat and cover their position. A good gunner realizes that they are a guest. They are getting all the experience points for the kills made. The driver only gets XP for the time in the game and a victory should that occur. They also should realize that the driver has to pay for maintaining the vehicle, which increases significantly when one of their 222s is destroyed. A good gunner doesn't waste ammo by test firing weapons when they first get into the 222. Reason number one, limited ammo. It takes a long time for a weapon to resupply, leaving the vehicle and its occupants vulnerable. Reason number two, it is a recon vehicle. Recon likes to keep things stealthy. Shooting the 20 millimeter cannon just for fun is not stealthy. And that is your introduction to the SDKFZ-222 Armored Recon Car. And as always, play games and have fun. Thank you.